Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm just thinking here now, right? We, it, it's been a mad few days, hasn't it? You know, this with the Dillian White mess and, uh, you know, uh, I've had people sending me questions in and, you know, uh, or emails with, with, with questions inside the emails and... I've had one from a gentleman called Brian and there's fucking, Jesus, there's about 30 odd questions so I'm going to just go through these best I can and uh, it says here, did White fail an A sample? Well, we're led to believe he has according to the Daily Mail and they won't, wouldn't print that would they? So yeah, D Dillian White looks like he's failed it but we're now being told different, it's all shrouded in mystery, isn't it? Has, Ed, why, has Eddie Earn ever been seen without security? No. Wherever Eddie Earn goes, he has security. Whether it's leaving the aeroplane in America to go to the arena or the weigh-ins or the hotels or whenever he's at matchroom shows, Eddie Hearn lives in fear. Uh, I do know a re the reason why he upset somebody who was uh, very powerful in boxing a few years ago and uh, he, he's going to live in fear for the rest of his life so it's uh, it's not hard, an hard one to figure out who he's frightened of but but anyway that's a long story so yeah he's always got, he's got security around him Brian why the secrecy all of a sudden Porky? well I don't know really but I would assume that it's because they're buying, biding for time. They're playing for time so they can twist it to their advantage to, to water it down and do a PR exercise on it. That's what I personally, that's what I personally, personally think. Uh, I've got a new kettle, stainless steel, Kenwood. Tried to blag it for notes saying I'd give them a mention on channel but no good so Sunday morning slice of brown bread with jam low fat butter glass of fresh orange and a coffee uh, let's have a look where's my camera brilliant making too much noise that channel uh, why are the sky company men all gone quiet porky Caldwell, Mr. Bean, Johnny Nelson, Barry Hearn, David Hay, Chisora, all the Sky Company men. He even mentions my friend Carl Froch. Brian, Carl Froch is not a company man, just so you know. I don't know why they've all gone quiet. I would assume that it's because they don't want to fall out with Eddie Hearn. They don't want to backhander off uh, Luther Vandross, you know, Dean White. They don't want to backhand it off Dean White, or they don't want D Dillian Chisora. Uh, D sorry, they don't want Dillian putting it on him, and I assume that Chisora doesn't want D Dillian putting it on him as well, accusing him of being a drug cheat if he isn't. But why have the media come out and said Dillian's failed the test, and now it's all oh shush? Because Eddie Hearn's gone round the houses throwing lawsuits about and trying to stop it all. Everybody's all gone quiet, aren't they? I mean, all these do-gooders like Gareth A. Davis, you know, people like that, all these do-fucking-gooders who go around bleating on about drug cheats and this and that, well, they've got a failed drug test in front of the fucking eyeballs and nobody's saying a word, have they? Nobody is saying a word. And I, I, don't, know what I'm I don't know where I'm coming or going with this, mate. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Where's Toaster? I don't know where, where Toaster is, man. Shit. I don't know where it is in the sound. Can't work, can't work washing machine. Can't work oven. Oven's one of them digital things that you touch. I don't like them. I like them old ones with rings on, like my mother's. Uh, so I don't really know, to be honest. 
Uh, I don't know. They've all gone quiet, haven't they? All the company men. They've all the silence is fucking golden, isn't it? The silence. The silence is golden. Do you know what I mean? The silence is golden. I'm gonna drink this out of my cup with a picture of my twins the day they were born next to each other. I should uh, I should put that as an insert, shouldn't I, video? Because it's very special when you've got twins, you know. And like I said, I've got twins, seven year old in November. Reggie and Ruby. <laughs> twins, eh? Jesus, I must have been cooking that night. But, uh, why is Coogan and Phelps not pushing for an exclusive porky? Well, I don't know, Brian. I don't know, mate. They've gone quiet, haven't they? We don't seem to be hearing anything from Michelle Phelps. It looks, it looks to me like they've all gone missing, haven't they? All these big hitters on YouTube who pride themselves on having and only only interviewing an average of 18 to 22 people. 18 to 22 people, regular, more than anything. On 60 to 80 percent of their content is based around 18 to 22 people. Whereas me. As you can see, I've just done a video of a day, 2,000 views in three, out, in three days. And yet, I've also done a video about Terry Harper, which has got about 150 views in three days. So you've got to take the rough with the smooth. You can't do it just about views. You've got to take the rough with the smooth and share the love out. Do you know what I mean? So, as far as I'm concerned, it's just boxing, isn't it? But, Coogan Cassius, I like him, he's an hard working kid, I've met him a few times, seems an hard worker, nice lad. But, Coogan Cassius' silence is golden in this matter, isn't it? Because they don't want to give it airtime because they've built relationships up with the fighters that they need for views, they get a living out of them. Whereas if it's, if it's ITN News, or if it's Sky News or anybody like that, Ed Robinson, Andy Scott, they don't build relationships up like that. They keep it professional, don't they? Because you never know when you're going to need it down the line. That's what happens. But there's a conflict of interest for them, isn't there? They don't want Dillian White refusing them access. Now me, I'm not really bothered. I'll just tell it as I see it. If Gillian White's innocent, I hope he sues asses off him. But if he's guilty, he's got to go. He's got to go. Now, they all got paid from the pay-per-view, didn't they? Right? Insurance companies don't pay anybody out for drug test failures, but I wouldn't have put it past any of them. Slipping an opponent in for Rivers. You could have got a heavyweight in any time, couldn't you? But... They've given them a load of waffle, haven't they? To the Boxing Board of Control, threatening them with legal action if they stop the fight. The board have shipped the pants. And that just looks to me like that's what's happened. Shitey pants. Eh? Old Charlie Giles and his chums. Toaster. What is it? Toaster in cupboard. You know what I mean? What's going on in this house? How's that work? But, er, uh, no, it is what it is, isn't it? But, er, uh, why is everyone silent except Dean White and Fear, and are they making it about themselves? I don't know what you mean by that question, Brian. Do you mean that Dean White and Spencer Fear make it about themselves, or. Or what? You're not, you're not saying in, in your email, mate, so I don't know what you mean, but... Dean White, every time he goes by a camera, he likes to stop and chat. There's nothing wrong with that. He's going to promote his brother, isn't he? And his fighters. Nothing wrong with that. Dean White's a good boxing person. Spencer Fearon. Well, I've been told his video has been took down. The one where he said that Eddie Hearn, uh, morally, should have told Rivers. That video has been taken down. Uh, I can understand why it's been took down because Eddie Hearn doesn't like anybody talking about him like that. Spencer Fearon already had his knuckles wrapped for the Joshua one 
where he said that Joshua needs to be around more boxing people. More boxing people? What? Being around McCracken and the EIS and Richie Woodall and all them up there? Ain't that boxing people, Spencer? You fucking prick! Let's have a look what else we've got from Brian. Why is Dean White and co heckling Wilder in Brixton asking for White's chance to fight Wilder? Hasn't White had enough chances to fight for a world title? Woo! Uh, I don't know. We all know that Dillian White is mandatory for Wilder and they're saying he's clean of drugs, so why? Dean White and Craig Richards and Spencer Fearon have felt the need to go and heckle Wilder in Brixton. I don't know, or confront him, I don't know. It can only be to promote themselves and make it about them and get themselves out there because the fight will be massive when it's made anyway. So I didn't really get that, Brian. So yeah, I see your point on that one. Uh, Caballel, the EBU belt, what is happening with that, Porky? Yeah, I see your point on that. Dillian White's won a British title, which were vacant. So, Dillian White has not beat a champion yet, has he? Caballero's got the European title. He's 19 and 0. He's younger than Dillian. Nobody mentions Caballero. The guy who took Chisora, he took, oh, he took Chisora to, uh, he took Chisora to school, didn't he? Give him a diploma in boxing. So, yeah. I can see I can see your point there regarding Caballel, Brian. Nobody uh, seems to mention Caballel do they, these days. It's always they mention it the same old people, aren't they? And maybe that Gillian White is getting himself put into that bracket. I can't decide whether to have raspberry or strawberry. Strawberry jam. Cold strawberry jam out of the fridge. I'm going to have half a slice of toast, because any more I'll be sick. But, er, uh, Dean, Dillian White, right, he's come on since he's been with Mark Tibbs, hasn't he? But let's have it right. Two fights which is order were life and death. Am I right? Parker, that's life and death, isn't it? Life and death's when, you, when, when you're getting dropped and things like that. Parker were life and death. And the Rivers fight, that was life and death, wasn't it, really? But he finds a way to win. So you've got to give Dillian White respect. But, Caballel, that's a different story, isn't it? He's undefeated. And I think that's a 50-50 fight for Dillian Me, But how many more fights does Dillian White have to take before he gets wilder? Because... At the moment, he might miss that fight now, and that would be a crying shame, wouldn't it? But we can only go on what facts we've got. Now, people are saying he's failed the test. Now they've got the button down the hatches, haven't they? So, we're all left guessing, aren't we? We're all left guessing. But, uh, let's have a look what else we've got. Has Rivers failed a drug test, Porky? Is this now Sky Propaganda? Rivers has not failed a drug test. Not failed a drug test at all. Spencer Fearon said he has. Spencer Fearon's fighting for his job at Sky Inn. He's got. He's going to find out if he gets a new contract in September. So, Spencer Fearon's going to do everything he can to rim people at Sky. Bro. As far as I'm concerned, Rivers does not fail any, te fail any test. British Boxing Board of Control guys are telling people who I know that Rivers didn't fail a test. They're saying that uh, Rivers' manager, Yvonne Mike Michelle, he's saying that lawyers are involved and that criminal proceedings are going to come down on all them involved. So it is what it is, isn't it? 
In a week when Der Dasher and Sam Tillian died, we have the biggest cover up since Richard Steele stopped the Taylor Chevers fight with two seconds to go, Porky. What do you think? Yeah, I think that Eddie Hearn could have used a little bit more tact, couldn't he? Dealing with this issue when we've had deaths in boxing this last week, so. I don't think that Eddie's, Eddie's covered himself in glory, has he? But I think that Eddie, Eddie can redeem himself by coming clean, you know, and sticking to what he believes in. I mean, Eddie put a tweet out saying, two-time drug cheat should be banned for life. Well, now all of a sudden, he, it's happened to him, and he's gone missing on that, hasn't he? He's not backing up what he says. So, but... Is he bothered while he's banking the millions? No. Did Eddie Hearn get paid from the pay-per-view with Dillian White? Of course he got paid. That's his job, is to get paid from pay-per-views. Eddie got paid. So... But, uh, Let's have a look. Rivers was informed Rivers wasn't informed, was Lloyds of London. Now, Oscar, I see, I see where you're coming from with that, Brian. Oscar Rivers wasn't informed, no. He was not informed regarding the uh, drug test. So that's sad. Were Lloyds of London involved? Sorry, informed. What was Rivers offered compensation? No, he wasn't. Lloyds of London, if Dillian White gets injured in the ring, Lloyds of London have to pay out. But what, what would they pay out if they knew that Dillian White had drugs inside him? No, they wouldn't. Would Rivers have got paid out knowingly because he, he took a fight and the other guy had, had, had uh, PEDs inside him? It's a mess, isn't it? It works both ways, so... I don't think Lloyds of London are involved, no, but I do think that there's some type of, is it, is it, is it fraud or is it insurance fraud or negligence or duty of care? I can see where they're coming from with, with the looking at criminal charges because they've all signed forms, haven't they, for the fighters' safety going into the ring. The promoter has like an event insurance, I know this because I've seen it before. I've seen forms like this many times. If somebody dies on the show, right, in the ring, insurance companies are involved now. They've obviously lied on the forms, haven't they, because now it's coming out that they knew that the guy had drugs inside him, PEDs. Well, what the insurance company's told, and I think that's the angle that they're going to go down with criminal proceedings. They'll probably interview Eddie on it as well, the police. I would have thought that, but they are pushing for that, and I do know that certain people in England, promoters and boxing people, are advising Yvonne Michelle. I bet they are. <laughs> They've been waiting for this opportunity for ages, haven't they? And it's sad that it's got to that, but it's a bad thing what's gone on, though, isn't it? Will there be criminal proceedings? Yes, I think there will be. The, will promoters be offering advice to Tim Rivers? Yeah, they are. They already have. Is Hearn out of order morally? Yeah, he is. What about the gloves issue, Russell? The gloves issue seems to have gone missing, doesn't it? Behind the drug, behind the drug issue. The gloves issue, yeah, he used a different set of gloves, didn't he? The referee were poor on the night as well. You'd have to say that. Spencer Fearon says morally Hearn is out of order. Yes, he is. I've heard Eddie Hearn paid the board to rush it through on the Saturday morning. Is this true? Uh, I don't know about that, but I do know that it was £5,000 for the board to do an emergency meeting before the Chisora White fight, the first fight. So they had to do an emergency meeting. So. So they, they, they had to come up and they paid them £5,000. So did they have to probably have to rush it through on the Saturday? Yeah, they probably did. Is this a dangerous precedent for future boxers, Porky? Fighting while waiting an appeal. Fucking too right it is. Fighters can fight 
The board are going to clear these people to fight while they're waiting for, for uh, blood tests and urine tests to come back. Fucking hell. How crazy is that? That's madness, isn't it? So yeah, it is a dangerous president. Very, very dangerous. And uh, it's enough to put you off boxing, isn't it, really? You know, what? I mean, at least the opponent has to be told about it, doesn't it? So, if this was football, Porky, do you agree that doors be kicked in by the old Bill one mo the next morning? Yeah, of course it would. If it were football, this it'd be a national scandal. It'd be all over the papers, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? But uh, Sky have managed to keep a lid on it, haven't they? They're not even reporting on it. Lee Purdy, Paul Smith, Brian Rose, Gavin Reese. People like that, Dave Allen, David Price, Crawler Bellew, Callum Johnson, Amir Khan, Stephen Smith, Luke Campbell, the list is endless. Who've had good hidings on Eddie Earn's watch. Uh, he's just going to say it's boxing, isn't it? But I call it suicidal mismatching. I've been making videos about it for ages. And I said sooner or later, greed. Sooner or later, greed is going to come unstuck. Gordon Gecko once said greed is good. Well, when you look at Eddie Hearn, he's just laughing in everybody's faces. Even when YouTubers like that barber shop guy put him under pressure, he just keeps laughing, doesn't he, while he's walking to the car. Laughing and laughing and laughing. Well, Eddie's not laughing now, is he? Eh? Just keeps laughing at people, doesn't he? Thinks everything's a joke. If you're in Eddie Hearn's company, He's the irritating bully. That's what he is. I've been in his company a few times. He's not a nice, not very nice. He likes to take piss out people. Thinks he's clever, doesn't he? He's all about promoting himself. So Eddie, you're a prick. You, if you were to match him, Porky, is Mick still involved? So, so is Savannah still with Mick as well? But will she be promoted by Ern? I bet if needed. What do you think? Uh, I think I covered that in last video. I think I said that uh, Mick Hennessy uh, is still involved with Yui Fury. The only difference is Yui's going to be fighting on Sky, isn't he? And Matcham have, match have got the Sky contract, haven't they? Uh, I don't know what people think about Peter Fury's relationship with Eddie Hearn. Uh, personally, I don't think they like each other, but they're going to do what's best for business, aren't they? They're not going to be the first boxing people to work together for the sake of business, are they? Do you know what I mean? They won't be the first, and they wouldn't be the last. But, as I've just said earlier in the video, uh, criminal charges, I'd have thought, will be coming on top. People are saying they are. It all depends on their lawyers. Don't forget, these people are Canadians. They're not going to. They're not going to. They're not going to know the law that good. But they've been getting advice from English boxing promoters and people in the boxing industry in England. Who obviously they want to top a lady in, don't they? And this is how it goes, isn't it? It's no different to Eddie putting tweets out with Frank Warren's list of creditors or getting people to put lists out. You know, can you put this list out for me? Of all people who Frank Warren owes money to, and we'll sort you some tickets out on a match room show. We know that goes on, don't we? So, it is what it is, isn't it? So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. It's a great sport.